Doppelganger. We've all heard of them, and we assume it's just when someone looks exactly like you. But apparently there's a much darker side to it than that. So what is a doppelganger? It's when you have a biologically unrelated look-alike, an unofficial identical twin. But it goes beyond just physical looks. You apparently have the same personality, values, religion, taste in music. It's basically an exact replica of you. And did you know that a doppelganger is actually considered a bad omen? It's true, some say that to meet your double is a sign of your imminent death. So the word doppelganger comes from German folklore and it translates to double walker or double goer. The word was introduced by German author John Paul in his 1796 novel, Seibenkass. How likely is it that you really have a doppelganger on this planet right now? According to one study, the likelihood of two people sharing the exact same facial features is less than one in one trillion. And there's a 0.007% chance that just one single pair of doppelgangers exists among the seven billion people people on Earth. But those are just the numbers. I mean, strange phenomena occur every single day. Merriam-Webster defines doppelganger as a double alter ego and a ghostly counterpart of a living person. If you asked me before I started researching this topic, I would just say that a doppelganger is someone who looks just like you, but it sounds like there's some serious paranormal activity that started thousands of years ago. In traditional folklore, a doppelganger is considered way more supernatural than just some physical coincidence. In an article from Bustle, I found a quote that says doppelgangers might attempt to provide advice to the person they shadow, but that this advice can be misleading or malicious. They may also attempt to plant sinister ideas in their victims' minds or cause them great confusion. And apparently they may also try to interact with others as you, which adds a whole new layer of confusion. What's interesting here to me is that this quote calls the prototype human, the original human, the victim. I mean, does that imply that a doppelganger is some other species sent here to torment their human lookalike? I've never heard of that before. I, I wish I had just thought of my old version of doppelgangers, but now we're onto some creepy stuff. Back in 1612, John Donne, an English metaphysical poet, claimed to have seen his wife's doppelganger in Paris the same night that his daughter was stillborn. Two days later, he was having dinner with friends. He was left alone at the table at one point, and when his friends returned to the table, they saw a strange expression on his face. They asked him, what's wrong? He told him he had just seen his wife walk past him twice, holding their dead baby in her arms. I mean, this obviously couldn't have been real, so it was either an apparition or his wife and baby's doppelgangers. Very spooky. Another blast from the past is Abraham Lincoln. This story is confirmed from the book Washington in Lincoln's Time by Noah Brooks. Noah Brooks confirms that he heard this story from Lincoln himself back on November 9th, 1864. It's said that Abraham Lincoln was looking in the mirror one night when he witnessed seeing his own face, but also someone else in the mirror with him. Yeah, there was a second person, a second Abraham Lincoln who just appeared paler and a little more ghost-like. I mean, this sounds like the definition of doppelganger from Miriam Webster. He told his wife about his vision and she said she was worried it was a bad omen that he wouldn't live out his full term as president. And we all know how that turned out. So the doppelgangers we hear about in folklore cast no shadow and have no reflection in a mirror or in water, according to metaphysics website Crystal Links. But yet there are multiple moments of recorded history of people seeing doppelgangers in the mirror. So like the doppelgangers themselves don't have reflections, but maybe they can appear in the mirror alone. I got another for you. Vice Admiral George Tyron on June 22nd, 1893. There was a party in London at George Tyron's home. And it's said that at this house party, George walked through the drawing room. He looked straight forward and didn't mutter a single word to any of his party guests or acknowledge them at all as he made his way to the front door. And once he got to the front door, he just vanished. However, Vice Admiral George Tyron was not home that night. No, he was on a ship, the HMS Victoria of Mediterranean Squadron, off the coast of Syria. And supposedly that very same night, the HMS Victoria crashed into another vessel, the HMS Camperdown, and Vice Admiral George Tyron supposedly went down with the ship that same night that his doppelganger was seen. So yeah, it seems like doppelgangers are a pretty bad thing. But do you really believe in them? I mean, personally, I think there are people out there who could look just like me. And I mean, there's living proof out there with these stories we just told. I mean, tell me Jennifer Garner is not the same person as Hilary Swank. Natalie Portman and Keira Knightley, Margot Robbie and Jamie Presley. The list goes on and on and on. Then there's this one guy whose doppelganger is Kim Jong-un. 
I mean, can you imagine? He has talked about his experience saying, looking like an a has been one of the best things that ever happened to me. People are shocked and horrified for the first 10 seconds, and then usually there's laughter. However, some people never move to the second phase. I feel pretty bad for this guy. There have been many moments in time where this phenomenon has occurred and has been recorded. The proof is in the pudding. I mean, I've never used that phrase until now, but here we are. And it doesn't stop at just celebrities. So I have a quote from a man who actually did meet his doppelganger. He says, I was the last one on the plane and there was someone in my seat. So I asked the guy to move. He turned around and he had my face, says Neil Douglas, who was on his way to a wedding in Ireland when it happened. He later said, the whole plane looked at us and laughed. And that's when I took the selfie. I mean, how crazy is that? To meet someone on a plane in the exact same seat as you who looks just like you? What are the actual odds? Another modern day doppelganger story comes from another airplane. These two dudes were not only seated next to each other, but they got off the plane and went to the same hotel. Turns out they were staying at the same hotel because great minds and I guess great doppelgangers think alike. And then to celebrate their union, they went down to the pub for a pint of they really do look alike, but if you take away the beard and the red hair, what are we really working with here? So these days it's up for debate on what doppelganger actually means. It depends whether we mean look alike to a human or look alike to facial recognition software, says a statistician at UC Berkeley, David Aldiss. This opens up a whole new can of worms. There's technology out there easily accessible on the internet to help you find your doppelganger, such as twin strangers, which is free, and they use an algorithm to find your match and give you a percent of how accurate a match they've found. Other websites include I Look Like You, My Twin Finder, and Star by Face. The only problem is that you can only be matched with other registered users. So what are the chances that you and your doppelganger both are looking for each other? Now, let's see if we can find my doppelganger right here, right now. I've got my laptop here. We're on twinstrangers.net and I'm gonna upload a picture of myself and see if we can find my doppelganger. Uploading photo, let's see. Okay, we found the best matches for this photo. Here we go, best match 74%. Okay, what do we think? I don't know. I don't think I, I don't look like her at all. That's a 74% match. Okay, let's see who else we have. Nope, I don't think this one looks like me either. Okay, I'm already feeling relieved. That one looks a little bit like me, but I still wouldn't see her and think that's me. This one, absolutely not. So I think I'm safe from my evil doppelganger. So the conclusion is I'm one of a kind. There's nobody like me on the planet and we're gonna keep it that way. So evil doppelgangers stay out of my path. Well, that's our show about doppelgangers, some pretty creepy stuff. So tell me, have you ever met your doppelganger or do you know someone who's met theirs? Please let me know in the comments below. I'm dying to hear your stories. My name is Lucy and this has been Conspiracy Central.